Hello guys, and it's me, Rainy here, back with another video. Today I'll be teaching everyone how to install a War Thunder Sound mod. Since there's not enough tutorials out there on the internet, and people simply are too clueless. Or just never heard of Sound mods to begin with, which is strange, because in my humble opinion, Sound mods are better than uh, vanilla. But anyway, we're getting too ahead of ourselves, so... First thing you would want to do is have War Thunder turn off, whether it's Steam or the Gaijin Launcher, have it off. Second of all, you're going to need to download the mod off of War Thunder Live or from my Discord server. Both will be in the description. Then you will need to find your local War Thunder files, which I have them open here, or you can find them through App Data, Local, scroll all the way down, War Thunder or on Steam, you right click, manage, browse local files. So basically the same thing, uh, nothing is different here. So you would want to go to your sound folder and create a new folder called mod. Keep it exactly as it is here, otherwise you are risking the game to break and it'll just not play sounds at all. So, follow directions. Then, you will need to find wherever you downloaded your sound mod, uh, which in case I have it stored in my War Thunder mod folder because I have a bunch. So anyway, whatever program you use, make sure you open it, and then you're given five different options. Uh, crew and voice, uh, aircraft and tanks, music, 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 crew and voice, uh, and music, crew, voice, and music. And whichever one you really like, personally, uh, there's for one from Metal Gear Rising, there's the classic RWSM, Sabaton English version, Sabaton Russian version, T-34, soundtrack, ultra kill, whichever one you need for your own needs. But anyway... I'll show you using two of my personal favorite mods, Metal Gear Rising and RDOBSM. So what you would want to do is go to this folder and, and click and drag all of these or extract them to wherever your local War Thunder files are in the sound slash mod folder, like this. And then do the same with another mod, like if you're going to use any of my other mods. Make sure to set it to replace all. Nothing's going to happen really. Then you need to find your config.blk file and open it with Notepad. There we go. Then you scroll all the way down to the sound block folder and add these lines of text in there and save. Make sure that, that they are on this order and that the first one loops for gun sound is, says no and loops guns for GM says yes. This way no errors with looping will happen. Then once that happens you can launch your game. This will take a little bit but uh, there's going to be a difference. I said my sword was a tool of justice. You followed your wrath, but not used to anger. Not used for vengeance. The world has turned so many empires. But now, now I'm not so sure. And besides, this is my sword. Come on. Okay. 
and you can mess around with the uh, sounds in here. So, everything should sound much, 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 much different. Hope you guys enjoy take care and hopefully you found this tutorial useful